<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest is a stand-up comedian who currently stars on Dice. Please welcome Natasha Legero. to have you back on. Great to be nice here. Nice to see you again. Now, uh, something is slightly different from the last time we were together. <laughs> this is this your way of telling me I look fat? Mm, it, glowing <laughs> is the word I was looking for. No, I am pregnant. Thank you. Well, congratulations. <laughs> yes, congratulations. But the amount of weight I've gained, I'm not really in the glowing stage. I'm kind of in the what's Natasha sad about stage. Like, has she been eating too many burritos? I, I, I disagree. I think you look lovely. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I feel welcome. gross. Is this your first child? Is this your first uh, pregnancy? It is my first and my last. Okay. <laughs> That's why you feel gross, is you've never been through this before. No. Yeah. No. There's all kinds of, like, fears and apprehensions about this, too. Like, your body changing and... Yeah, it sucks. Yeah. <laughs> and what, no matter what you go to the doctor and complain about, they go, that's perfectly normal. <laughs> yeah. Right, My right. eyeballs are bleeding. There's a hair on my elbows. Oh, How do yes. you know all this? It's like, you Because I'm don't... the father of three children. I went through this with my wife. Why does the woman have to do everything? I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, now, uh, how is, has this changed? Uh, has it changed for for some people? Not everybody, I realize, but for some people, it changes like what they want to eat, what they want to drink, all that kind of oh, stuff. Oh yeah, I've had really bad cravings um, for drugs. <laughs> I mean, this is not a good time to be sober, you know? No. Like. No. <laughs> yeah. But then I was thinking. I was thinking, Stephen, like, what if I had, like, a little toke? You know what I mean? Like, maybe the kid will have a few glitches, but the bar's been set so low, it could still grow up and become the president of the United States of America. That's true. I would, I would love it. Literally anybody can become president. What an interesting time yes. we're living in. What an interesting form of hope. <laughs> Now, <laughs> your, uh, your husband, uh, Moshe Kasher, was a yes. friend of the show. He's been on since the oh, last yes. time I saw you. So he's, he's a comedian. You're a comedian. Is, is it sort of predetermined that your child will be a comedian, or do you have higher aspirations? <laughs> I mean, do you have, like, people in your family you don't want to make more of? Like, I feel like I'm kind of afraid of my genes. What do you mean? <laughs> you know, like, the people I'm related to, like, what if it comes out, like... One of them. Like Uncle... <laughs> like, like Uncle Phil or somebody? Is there... <laughs> you want to name some names? You want to make well, some enemies like my, right now? Yeah, it's probably not a good idea. Uh, well, you know, like my brother lives in a van that he put an address on and... Really? Yeah. How do you put an address on a van? You pull it up to someone who has a house and then you put a sign up with a half sign of their address. No way. That's possible? He did it. <laughs> I know then, how I'm spending my retirement. <laughs> <laughs> my aunt, she has to borrow her daughter's car because hers has a breathalyzer attached to it. Oh, you have to blow on it before yeah, the like thing the will go? Yeah, like the state put it on the car. Wow. You don't okay. have people in your family like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they watch the show. So I'm not going <laughs> to... I'm, I'm going to see them eventually. And I'm joking, obviously. There are none. Um... <laughs> Now, you toured with your husband this summer. That is something I've never done with my wife. You actually went out and gigged with him. Yes. What, what is that like, to be stuck in the van with your loved one? Um, it was fun. I mean, one problem is he was, like, constantly on his phone. Like, he was constantly texting and driving. I already know that's how he's going to die. I've, I've written his obituary. He died doing what he loved, arguing with an out-of-state stranger on Facebook. So sad. He just gets wow. into these arguments on Facebook. Did you pry the wheel away from him at any point? I mean, it's... What can you do? Like, is your wife always on the phone, or you guys aren't like that, or...? No, my wife is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> She's watching the show. <laughs> perfect in every way. My she's husband. also uh, she's also cruel and sexy. Those are the adjectives. Oh, okay, that's nice. She prefers. She Hot. prefers. Yeah, well, I think so. He'll do this thing. We were driving in the car, and like he'll be driving. It's his car. 
His phone will ring. I'm sitting in the passenger seat. He answers it on Bluetooth. This is how he answers the phone. He's like, just so you know, you're on speaker. Just so you know, Natasha's in the car. Natasha's in the car. I'm like, are your friends just calling you up? Like, your wife's a bitch. 9-11 was an inside job. Abortion should be illegal. What's up, bro? Like, girls don't do that. They don't? You guys don't warn that somebody's in the car with you? Not like, you know, not like that. Like, it's not like an Amber Alert, you know? Like... <laughs> Keep it, keep it light, Natasha. <laughs> now, we, uh, I'm happy to say that, you know, we're doing this puberty me, uh, challenge right now. Yes. Raising money for Puerto Rico. It turns out that you went through puberty. Uh, you know, I've, uh, born glamorous, Steven. Yes. So. And I have proof here. Not only did you go through puberty, but <laughs> there you go. You could tune in Radio Moscow. <laughs> That is adorable. What is that? I used to have to sleep with that every night. Uh, uh, that's the man trying to keep your smile down right there. <laughs> that's a pressure. You were blonde when you were younger? My mom had me get a perm and highlights. I don't know. She said my hair was too fine or I don't know. It's adorable. How old are you right here? Um, there I'm 32. Oh. <laughs> Very late onset. Very late <laughs> onset. Now, uh, now you're, uh, you're in season two of Dice. Yes. Uh, the series of Andrew Dice Clay. Yes. Now, we had uh, Dice on oh, here. Oh, he he's an insane person. Yeah, yeah, he came on here like about a month ago, and I'm, I've been in comedy for 30 years. He shocked me. Stuff we couldn't even, we couldn't even bleep it. We just had to lift it out of the show. It was too dirty. He is so accidentally funny and, and, and purposely funny, but like, I went into a Rite Aid with him. He stole a bunch of candy. <laughs> and then he comes out of the Rite Aid and takes all this candy out of his pockets. I'm like, do you need to borrow $5? And he goes, it tastes better when it's free. Do your... Who well, thinks like do, that? You, do, do, does your family, like, do you, like, your, your parents or grandparents or anything, if they're still with us, do they, do they watch you on you know, the Dice uh, show? I texted my mom recently to ask her if she was watching. Do we have our text is? exchange? This yeah. Is, I think that's what this is. So I, I ask her, I'm like, uh, hey, have you been watching Dice? We don't get that channel. I think it's showtime, right? Yes. <laughs> I bet it'll come to the library eventually. <laughs> then we'll watch it. So, I love the idea of a library. Your mom? <laughs> yes. your mom gets her TV from the library. She's very supportive, but she does get most of her media from the public library. Wow. In Illinois. Wow. Um, um, <laughs> yes, why not? They'll, they'll all be gone where soon. In, where in Illinois? Rockford, Illinois. Oh, lovely, Rockford, Illinois. Sure, that cheap trick is from there. Yes, yes. That's what I know about Rockford, Illinois. That's the only thing to know about that. Well, the season uh, finale the of Dice airs this Sunday on Showtime and at your local library. <laughs> <laughs> Natasha, thank okay. you so much. Natasha Legere, everybody. We'll be back with you.